Hey guys, we're doing November 17th at 4.55 a.m. Can't believe I'm awake. <laughs> Ooh, so yeah, I... Surprisingly, I'm awake, but, um... I only had one cup of coffee so far. But it's kind of cool, because Ryan just posted a video, so I was like, yay. That woke me up, <laughs> actually. I got on a vacation. I was like, yay, finally. So... Uh, yeah, uh, once again, daily vlog are the conditions, and the whole reason why I started daily vlogging once again was because of Ryan and Chelsea, both, uh, YouTubers from New York. And, like, I keep saying, there's a lot of, uh, I haven't found anybody on YouTube yet who has... Tons of conditions, disabilities, sharing their life at home, that kind of thing. So I kind of want to make, kind of want to share it because, um, because of them, but also because I don't think there's anybody else who does daily vlogging. And I just film from my phone, so I don't have a special equipment and I just upload it right away. But, um... Uh, but I have several conditions with disabilities, but it actually does really help having an outlet and somebody, t something to talk to every single day, especially since I did broadcasting back in the day. I kind of do miss those days because of the radio, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> it was a lot of work, so I actually kind of prefer like I keep saying, minus the uh, conditions and pain that I'm in all the time, I still prefer this life over the life that I had when I was 10, when I was 20, when I was 30. So, yeah, I, I prefer being a homebody. And um, a lot of people keep thinking, keep thinking that I'm still in my 20s, and I'm like, no, I'm actually just turning 44 in September. So, a lot of people are confused about my age sometimes, because they're like, are you 20, or are you 40, <laughs> are you 60, because I'm into Mo, my favorite music is Motown. So that's why I keep saying I'll, I'm always going to be a Motown girl, Temptations, Lionel Richie, Stevie Wonder, The Barberlitz, uh, David Rethman, The Supremes, all that music. It's, that's literally my favorite music, so I'm glad when, because I had a copyright strike, I'm glad that I don't get blocked when I play that music, so. But I don't know when, uh, I can't play music anymore, things are going to be very boring. <laughs> being, being a being a daily vlogger, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm still a little sick, uh, not as bad, but yeah, I can't believe like it's still dark out. So. <laughs> I can't believe that I woke up so early, but I think it's like I said, I got a notification on YouTube, and then I was hungry, so I woke up. <laughs> so I'm slowly cleaning my kitchen because it's a disaster since I was too sick to do anything yesterday. But I think I'm going to clean off camera because so, I'm still looking up. And then I'll show you guys what I made the past few days. The celery dish once it's made. So much cooking to do. <sighs> so yeah, I'm going back. Oh, and live is at 9. And actually, if Tard is watching this, I'm curious to who you are. <laughs> so the last live, not the one that we did on Remembrance Day, the day before that, there was a guy named Tard. And uh, apparently he knows an ex of mine, and he knows exactly where I live, like the area. So I was like, huh, so he must know me. <laughs> So I haven't got any emails or anything, so hopefully they'll email me or come on live today, because I'm kind of curious now who they are. 
<laughs> it's so funny how that's like I keep saying there's so many people that I've been meeting through YouTube from my past that I don't remember <laughs> so it's funny it's like when I go shopping and stuff like that people are like hey how are you and they give me a hug and I don't even know who they are I'm like yep <laughs> I don't know who you are but I'll give you a hug <sighs> And it's so funny because I'm always running into people. Oh, and actually, I was told that there's um, a twin of mine. Somebody who looks like me, apparently, in somewhere in the States. But they're, like, well-known into drugs and stuff like that. So since I've told you guys my story now, people are like, oh, is that you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, oh, you have a twin. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Cool, I guess. Who would have thought? Because I am a surviving triplet. So I thought that message was funny. <laughs> you got a twin. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully uh, I could actually do some bracelets online. I don't know if I'll most likely take a nap in the afternoon kind of thing. I think. Because I went to bed so early, I woke up too. So I was like, oh, so much to do. <laughs> so, having my coffee. Can't wait till payday. I still gotta do, definitely gotta do, uh, the, figure out my money for this month. Next month, I mean, <laughs> that was funny in uh, Ryan's video, he's like, I grew up in Vancouver, so I'm an outdoor person, I'm like, that made me laugh, because <laughs> I, I grew up in Vancouver too, and in Surrey, and I'm the exact opposite. I don't like the nature and all that stuff. I'm not an outdoor person. That's why I think it's funny that I like him because <laughs> he's like the type I never, never would usually like. I'm a homebody, but even when I was twenty, I still didn't do nature. I just went to bars and shows, and I did miss open mic nights. But I think because of my ex, it kind of reminds me of that. So yeah, I'm currently making one dish and putting away the dishes. Then I'm gonna show you guys what I made the past few days with the recipes. I was really proud though the chickpea buns turned out. Those were really good. But it's funny though, because I've never been a cook. <laughs> Either. I used to, I was a, uh, back in the day, when I was a homebody, I was a computer nerd. So I don't know if you guys remember the video game, but there's a game called uh, You Don't Know Jack. One of my favorite games, because I was really good at it. And uh, sports trivia, because like I said before, I wanted to be a sports caster. I wanted to be a corner. I wanted to be so many different things, but I used to like, um, outsmarting guys <laughs> in trivia. It was fun. But now I can't remember stuff like that anymore, so kind of stinks, but <sighs> that's what happens when you get old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only in my 40s, I'm already saying I'm old. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that just made me my morning. I grew up in Vancouver, so I'm an outdoor person. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Vancouver too. And, that's what I <laughs> and I'm so not an outdoor person. <laughs> It's not because I smoke, it's because of allergies, basically. 
allergies, bugs. But yeah, never, never going to change my lifestyle for no one. But it's kind of funny though, because uh, like I said, there's one of my friends who ended up getting married and having kids with somebody and they only speak French and they speak English, but they're still together. And then there's another one of my friends is uh, an outdoors person and an indoor person, complete opposite people. But they're still together. <laughs> so, who knows? It's like, it's weird how relationships are. That's why I keep saying I'm kind of like a douche in a way because I don't want to date. <laughs> or I'm like, nobody's going to like me because of this and this and that. But like I said, I'm not putting myself down. Like, I still get comments of people saying, why do you keep putting yourself down? I'm like, I'm not. I'm just being realistic. <laughs> Unless if there's somebody exactly like me who only likes people for who they are, which doesn't really happen in this lifetime. <sighs> so, yeah. But, like I said, I don't, uh, I'm not putting myself down, it's just, that's just the way that I feel, and I guess because of all the crap that I've been through with dating, it's like, that's why I don't want to date, and my family are the ones that are bugging me, they're like, why don't you, you used to be such a player, now you don't even date, you don't go out, you don't do nothing, I'm like, yeah, because I gotta look after myself. And I find it fun. I don't want to waste my time anymore. So. And I'm not putting anybody down. If you guys are in relationships or if you guys like dating. Like I said, I'm not putting anyone down. I'm not putting myself down. It's just who I am. Because of my lifestyle and my conditions, like, who's up at 5 a.m.? <laughs> Not many. Uh, Charlie Sheen, what are you doing up? Oh, I guess I slept five hours. <laughs> That's what I always say now. I guess I slept five hours. The Buckley's really put me, put me out. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm catching up on my story times again. I actually wrote down who I've been talking about, so I remember to. So, Tuesday I'll do another story time. I got so many stories, it's crazy. But live tonight at 9. And I'm gonna finish smoking and then finish cleaning and cooking. I did start recording probably in an hour, half hour. You're on Phantom Stories Daily Vlogger.